Pitt has developed a number of pathways that help students discover a smooth path to graduation. Each program of study offered at MID is mapped out to help students stay on track and prepare them for their futures. Through extensive efforts from both two-year and four-year institutions over the past couple of years, Michigan has made great strides in improving the transfer of courses for college students. Numerous MidMichigan faculty and staff have been involved in the My Transfer Pathways project, and their work is really helping students. As a result of this collaborative work, MidMichigan College has increased the number of direct course equivalencies with four-year schools, and this is really exciting to see. The Plans app was developed to help staff and students interact with the new guided pathways. Plans allow students to move classes and map out their own path to graduation. MID has been following the complete College America recommendation to promote 15 to finish. In all of our onboarding materials and at orientation, students are encouraged to take 15 credits per semester or earn 30 credits annually in order to maintain momentum and finish on time. Mentors and dozens of college employees have the extraordinary privilege of welcoming new students and showcasing MID at its finest during our interactive orientation sessions. We love welcoming new Lakers and getting them started toward their goals. Since the fall of 2016 through winter 2020, we increased the number of courses using open education resources from one course to 21 with 130 sections. In equivalent new textbook prices for those sections, that means in the last four years, we saved mid-students over $1,361,000 with more courses transitioning to OER this fall. Since 2017, when MID shifted its student placement methodology from AccuPlacer testing to multiple measures, we've seen significant increases in the number of students taking college-level math in English. That means fewer students in developmental classes. What's even more exciting is that students are performing just as well under this new system as they did in the old. Online learning has been extremely beneficial. It allows us to offer classes to students who may not be able to come to campus or who may not be able to attend classes during traditional class times. Additionally, these classes have been really popular, so we hope to expand our offerings even more. After thoughtful collaboration with stakeholders from across the college, we reorganized our student onboarding and retention processes and created the Mid-Mentor team. Mid-Mentors serve as single points of contact to advise, encourage, and support students from application to graduation. Strategic Communications emerged as a team during Vision 2020, and we're proud of how often the college is now featured by media outlets in our local communities and across the state. We also collaborated with teams across the college to launch MyMid, a mobile-friendly web destination where students can get timely updates and access important information. The MESS and our other wellness offerings help students succeed. We strive to make every student feel welcomed. By promoting diversity, awareness, and resource availability, we can help students meet their basic needs and have more time to focus on their academic success. Over the past five years, the Lakers Athletics have seen great growth with respect to student participation, sport offerings, and academic success. We grew from two sports and approximately 25 student athletes to eight sports with approximately 100 student athletes over that time. We have also received great fan support for basketball, baseball, and softball, with much of the student body starting to attend games regularly. Life in athletics helps students build lifelong friendships, spirit, a sense of community, and connection to MID. It helps them develop the soft skills that employers value, such as communication, critical thinking, problem solving, team building, and working in, di in diverse groups. According to data from the College and University Food Bank Alliance, 30% of college students are food insecure. In response, the Campus Covered Food Pantries opened in September 2018 to offer free, non-perishable food items to students each week. The Learning Services Division at MID encompasses many areas of academic support, including testing services, supplemental instruction, the Science Center, the Writing and Reading Center, the Public Speaking Skills Center, and individual one-on-one -on -one tutoring. From 2018-19 to 2019-20, career service staff increased student contacts and new student orientations from 300 to nearly 600 students. The 2019 annual campus career fair also brought in an increased number of job seekers from 56 to 78, and the number of employers attending increased from 28 to 35. 
The Degrees When Due initiative allowed us to look back at students that were close to graduating, but just needed a few extra classes. We even found a few students who had earned a degree, but never applied for graduation. The effort resulted in awarding 10 degrees, and now we've built the process into our annual workflow. In 2015, MIND was awarded the TRIO Student Support Services Grant, which supports first-generation and low-income students and students with disabilities. Annually, MIND's program serves 140 students, and we have exceeded the program's benchmarks each year. Our TRIO students outperform the general population of MIND students in persistence, completion, average GPA, academic standing, and generate a substantial amount of revenue each year. Annually, MID now serves over 1,200 high school students who take college courses through dual enrollment. This includes students from nearly 50 different Michigan high schools. It takes a lot of people working together to serve these students well, but as a team, we have built an incredible dual enrollment program here at MID. Nearly 150 students have now participated in the Chippewa Chief Program, or CAP a collaborative program with Central Michigan University for students who fell below CMU's traditional admission criteria. Students live at CMU, gaining access to its campus offerings while taking a full load of classes at MID. If students successfully complete a full year of courses at MID, they are accepted to CMU as full students. We welcomed our first cohort of CAP students in 2017, and the program has grown each year in terms of number of students and range of services offered. To enable students quick, convenient access to all of their financial aid information, the Financial Aid Office at MID implemented a Lucy and Colleagues Financial Aid Self-Service Module. This allows student access to all of their financial aid information at any time on their mobile device or computer. Also, a collaborative effort between financial aid, communications, and IT resulted in a new look for students' financial aid award letters. Award letter information is presented in a more attractive, informative, and student-friendly way. This improvement to the award letter helps students see their financial picture in a whole new light, and it looks great. We've worked for a long time helping students apply for graduation. With a new process and a lot of work on our graduation audit system, we can now identify students who will be graduating and eliminate the application process. It's a lot easier for students, and we've actually been able to identify more people who are qualified for degrees. Lifelong learning is a critical community outreach activity that not only provides options for all community members to engage in topics of interest to them, but also services a group that is still interested in learning, just maybe not in a traditional sense. In the past two years, offerings have expanded from 12 to nearly 70 with plans to expand even more. Exciting new opportunities were delivered during the life of Vision 2020, including drone training, while we expanded healthcare, truck driving, and manufacturing training to new geographic locations around the state, including Huron, Macosta, and even Alpena County. And we also continue to play a significant role in economic development projects of the region, especially through the team at the Small Business Development Center. This is an exciting time for the Mid-Michigan College Foundation, as we work together with dedicated volunteers to make sure that our donors are properly recognized and giving opportunities to create new scholarships, help with programs, and enhance our facilities at the college. We're also working on alumni engagement strategies to make sure that all mid-graduates have the opportunity to be involved, give back, and make a difference. One of the exciting things that's happened over the last couple of years is the establishment of the Outdoor Education Center uh, on the Harrison campus. And we're pleased to be able to name that in honor of the Poet family that's been such a wonderful supporter of the foundation over many, many years. MID has dramatically expanded partnerships in many areas. We have established centers in Cairo, Big Rapids, and St. John's, and have expanded offerings in Huron County. We have plans to further expand by establishing a center in Elma in the year 2021. We have entered into partnerships with MSU Extension to increase lifelong learning offerings and have strengthened ties with partners such as the Central Michigan Manufacturers Association. We've seen increases in the number of successful student placements in the courses and programs that place interns and in the number of employers functioning as placement sites. And we're proud that we're offering more chances for students and local employers to learn and to connect. Introducing a HelpNet Employee Assistance Program for employees, 
We implemented ISOMS in the technology area to enhance the hiring process as an online applicant tracking system. Also initiated a new employee orientation for all new employees. We also had an organizational analysis completed internally by Romberg and Associates in 2017. Uh, with administrative and hourly employees to help us with internal compensation aspects and creating a point factoring system. The college's shared governance model emerged from its involvement task force in 2014. Its goal is to share information and foster transparency in the decision making process. More than 125 employees and students participate in various committees. In the last six years, they have made numerous contributions to the life of the college from policy development to sustainable drinking fountains. We strive for quality courses and quality instruction, which is why our online courses are developed through our department and go through a quality assurance review. We also have a robust offering for training online instructors. Do you remember the mission statement MID had before the current one launched in 2018? Probably not. Over the course of a year, people from all areas of the college and from all employment groups contributed to the development of our new mission statement. We developed knowledge and ability to empower learners and transform communities. And to our new core values, people, integrity, learning, community, and excellence. Let's celebrate this example of what we can achieve when we listen to one another and work together. Prior to Vision 2020, our college had a very different name, logo, and brand. In June 2018, MID became MID Michigan College. This gave our team the opportunity to rebuild our brand from the ground up with a new logo, refreshing new colors and designs. <music>